especially when you look at deep fakes. So the ability to clone someone's voice and someone's face is already astonishing. I've had my colleagues, based on information that's already online, you know, you've recorded a few hours of YouTube videos, someone can train a model to impersonate your, your voice. They've done it to my, for my colleagues, and it took me two or three minutes mm. of listening to it to figure out it wasn't actually them. How did you figure it out? They had repetitive figures of speech and inflections that weren't quite right. Okay. But honestly, they, these models have been around like three months. Yeah. So give it three more months, and I think this will be totally indistinguishable. And so I think we're all... Ultimately, we're all going to end up with physical security tokens that you have to literally physically plug into authenticate transactions. I think like voice biometrics is done, um, facial recognition is done. I think um, really? if you met ba YubiKeys basically, so these physical um, multi-factor devices you plug in to say, look, this is actually me, in combination with a password, in combination with voice authentication. But voice alone, I think in the next year or two is just going to be the is, next year or two. Yeah, the models already are so, so good, it will fool, uh, it'll fool you or me easily. Okay.